twerk for Maya. He like it when I made his ass. This man has over 22 million YouTube subscribers and he has over 3 billion views. How much is that in dollars? Hans vlogs, but not necessarily every day. Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. It may come as some surprise to you that YouTubers get paid for the videos they make. It may come as some surprise to you that there's such a thing as a YouTuber. Well, there is, and they do. And more accurately, they or we don't get paid for making videos. We get paid for people watching our videos. How does that work? Very simple. Advertising. You see ads all over YouTube. There's a display ad over there, probably. There's an ad in front of me here, if you haven't clicked it away yet. And you might have had to either watch or consciously skip a pre-roll ad before you watch this video. Now, if you're seeing this on Facebook or embedded somewhere else, you are not seeing YouTube's ads. You're seeing ads from Facebook or whoever else has embedded it. But if you click that little YouTube logo in the corner, this video will reopen on YouTube. Unless, of course, you're watching on a mobile device or a smart TV, then nobody's getting paid. But we'll talk about that later. Anyway, advertisers, be they Amazon.com, Warner Brothers, or the Republican Party, pay actual money to put their ads in all of these positions. And different positions cost different amounts of money. That side display ad over there is pretty cheap, but the skippable pre-roll, that's a pretty expensive one, since they only have to pay for it if you watch the whole thing. On a side note, we YouTubers have no control over what ads you see. Besides the ones they're clearly paying a lot for, like movie trailers, you're mostly just seeing stuff that relates to stuff you've looked at lately online. Like if you Google search for helicopter parts, you're going to see a lot of ads for helicopter parts. Okay, the amount of money an advertiser pays to show you an ad is known as the CPM, which stands for cost per thousand. M means thousands in math and Roman numerals, you see. So if they're paying a dollar for a thousand views of a display ad, or even a magazine ad or a TV commercial, that is a one dollar CPM. If they're paying ten dollars for a thousand views of, let's say, a pre-roll ad that you don't skip, that's a ten dollar CPM, you see? With a ten dollar CPM, YouTube gets ten dollars for every thousand views. Not that the video gets, but more accurately, for every thousand views that the ad gets, okay? That's important. There's lots of other factors in the algorithm, like if people watch longer, you get more money. If you follow an annotation like this one here, and it takes you to a video, and that video has an ad that you watch, the video you came from gets some credit for that too. It's all extremely complicated. In fact, as YouTube partners, we are forbidden strictly by YouTube to reveal exactly what we are making. And if we tell you to click the ads so we get more money, we are in big trouble. So please don't do that. Well, don't click them unless you really want to. But don't do it for me. I did not tell you to click the ads. Anyway, now that you know what a CPM is, we can do some hypothetical calculations. Let's take a top YouTuber like Jenna Marbles. She's one of America's top female YouTubers doing raunchy personal comedy about her own life experiences. She's delightful. She shoots in her own house, so her costs are negligible. Now, God knows what a CPM is, but it's probably pretty good since she has a very reliable audience. Jenna has over 12 million subscribers. Now, that doesn't mean all her weekly videos get that many views. But if lovely Jenna makes a video that gets 5 million views, let's say, which her weekly videos routinely do, then we can do a simple calculation. Okay, 5 million views times a CPM of, let's say, $10 means YouTube is taking in $50,000. You get it? 5 million divided by 1,000 times 10, that's $50,000. But does Jenna really get all that money? Well, no. Right off the top, YouTube takes 45%. So she would get 55% of that, which is $27,500. Now, if she has an agent or a multi-channel network, they're going to take 10 to 30%, but let's not get into that. 27 grand a week is quite a paycheck. Now, let's assume a smaller CPM, like $5. Okay, that takes the number down to 13750 Still not too bad for a day's work. But just looking at this number here, 5 million views, that is very misleading. Remember, YouTubers don't get paid for people watching their videos. They get paid for people seeing the ads around them. Remember, we only get paid for monetized views, so you can't just go by the total number of views as you see displayed on YouTube. Maybe half of those views or more might be on mobile phones or other places where they are not monetized by ads. So that 5 million views might be just 2 million monetized views. Now we're down to $5,500. And that's still assuming a healthy $5 CPM and an incredibly popular channel. This is fun. Let's do another one. 
For this case study, let's look at a recent video by Nate's Vlogs. I met Nate at the YouTube space in Los Angeles a couple of weeks ago. Nate has about 85,000 subscribers. He's a funny dude. This video here so far has 62,000 views. Now let's do the math. 62,000 divided by 1,000, that's 62 M's. With the CPM of $5, which is a total guess, that's $310. Now assuming half those views are monetized, that's $155. Now after YouTube takes their cut, Nate is left with 8525. Now to simplify that equation, you could choose any video on YouTube, look at the number of views it has, and multiply by .001735. And that's an estimate of how much the person is netting for that video. Now that's assuming a $5 CPM, 50% of the views being monetized, and no agent or multi-channel network taking their cut. Remember, none of those factors might be accurate for the specific video you're looking at, but you might be in the ballpark. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Here's a little chart I made of all the different factors for different CPMs. Remember, these are all just estimates. All the real numbers are shrouded in mystery. If you meet a YouTuber you idolize, don't assume they're rolling in dough. By the same token, don't assume they're struggling. I know some kids who just play Minecraft on YouTube and they could crush me with their wallets. So there you have it. You can now calculate how much your favorite YouTubers are making with a margin of error of it being completely impossible to accurately estimate. There's also more to the YouTube business model than just these ads. To augment their YouTube ad money, popular YouTubers also sell merchandise and do brand deals. Ever see a YouTuber showing off their Nokia Lumina phone or driving a Ford Fiesta? Well, that's because they're getting paid for that. Or in the case of Ford, getting a free car and free gas for a little while. This income is wonderful for YouTubers because they don't have to share it with YouTube. And it's worth every penny for the advertisers because beyond getting seen everywhere, even on platforms without ads, they also get their products associated with beloved YouTube personalities. But listen, advertisers, if you want Professor Puppet to shield for you, I promise to integrate your products seamlessly. My viewers will have no idea I'm getting paid to shamelessly plug your products. I welcome the patronage of my future corporate overlords. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was informative. Please like and subscribe to as many YouTubers as you can. We can all use your support. And please leave a comment below if you found this helpful or there's something else you'd like me to explain. Or if I got anything completely wrong, which is also a strong possibility. By the way, if you've ever seen an ad for my channel as a pre-roll here on YouTube, I did not pay a penny for that. That is just YouTube's fan finder program, for which I am extremely grateful. Especially if it's what brought you here. Hmm?